Today, uh, the report is read and says like this New York Center for Astrobiology in search for condition of life in universe, July 20, 2010. The New York Center for Astrobiology will within the scope of its search for the building block of life beyond Earth with the help of a new NASA grant. Based at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, the center is devoted to investigating the origin of life on Earth and the conditions that lead to formation of habitable planets in our own and other solar system. We are looking for the condition of life, rather than life itself, said Douglas Whitted, director of the New York Center for Astrobiology and a reseller professor of psychics, applied psychics and astronomy. The center opened in 2008 with support from NASA. One interesting finding from its research thus far is that stars aid in the process of forming the more complex matter found on planets and in life. You need energy to drive the chemistry. A star itself can cook simple molecules into something more interesting, Weird said. The new four-year, 6,000, 30,000 grant will allow the center to expand operation. It will allow us to support more collaboration, which in turn let us add care and analyze more data, we say. Research it at the center study the chemical, physical and geological condition on Earth that gave birth to life. That information in turn is used to search for similar conditions elsewhere, on Mars and other bodies in our solar system, and on planets orbiting other stars. A lot of organic molecules present on Earth may have been delivered shortly after it was formed. The evidence for this comes from meteorites, which contain amino acids. We say, we aim to find out what was happening in the solar system 4.5 billion years ago when it was formed. When and how was this matter synthesized, and how common it is? The researchers look for clues within Jones' solar system, where stars are surrounded by molecular clouds or pre planetary disks that have not yet coalesced into planet. The key to their research is spectroscopy, or light center of the clouds and disk. The early universe was composed of hydrogen and helium, from which other elements were formed and later combined into molecules in interstellar clouds. By examining the light signature of the material, Researchers can determine which chemicals are present in a particular cloud or preplanetary disk. You use the star as a source of radiation. The material between you and the star is absorbing some of it. We look at the absence of light caused by the material, we say. We say researchers are currently analyzing data gathered from the Spitzer Space Te Telescope, an infrared telescope or biting the sun that gathered data from 203 to 209. There is a huge archive of data that that's behind analyzed, and the grant will afford us access to more of that material, we say. Already that material has yielded the insight that star play a role in the creation of more complex matter. We will explain it that molecular clouds around star mature into preplanetary disk and then planets. Complex matter is found in increasing abundance as the stage progresses. 
Organic molecules such as hydrocarbons and alcohols are more common in preplanetary disks compared with molecular clouds, we we'll say. These molecules form with the help of energy from the star. A less promising finding, at least from the standpoint of finding life elsewhere in the universe, is the relative scarcity of complex hydrocarbons. The most common material we found is carbon dioxide, which is not very useful in man making life, we we'll say. It would be a lot more interesting if the carbo carbon were going into hydrocarbon, which are a stepping point to much more complicated molecules. Well, they are looking for life? No, they are looking to see if the, they find some planet that have the same condition that the Earth have for life. My personal opinion about this. The other planets on other solar systems or other galaxies, I don't know, maybe doesn't work the same way this solar system work and the and the air works. So they need I don't think that maybe there's not the same kind of life that is in Earth and they don't need the same kind of elements and condition that we use in air and need to 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 survive or, or live here. Maybe they use another or other element to to have life or or get life or life over there all the plants. That's my opinion. So in in the research they need to think about that. Um, there's a lot of UFOs, a lot of uh, omni evidence this year and the, in the last two months, including myself, that have a real experience with some uh, infrared uh, study I was doing to the moon, and I saw and I have big evidence, raw files that I, want, I can share we expert that want to check on my videos because are, they are true and I have big evidence I'm telling you big evidence that there is uh, something out there so people uh, that's all for today take care and uh, God bless you all thank you goodbye